Hello friends and welcome back to How to Mondays on Guiding Tech. Now today I'm going to share an amazing trick with you and that is how you can sync files from your Android device to a Windows 10 computer automatically and that too without any root access. Now as there is no root required everybody can use it and it is very helpful if you want to sync the photos or the files that you'll be working on your phone in real time. So let's see how the trick works. So friends, as the app that we'll be using on the Android will not be installing any server on your Windows 10 computer, so you'll have to make some necessary changes to in order to enable file sharing and syncing. So to do that, right click on your network icon and then select the option Open Network and Sharing Center. Now when this particular option opens up, here you need to click on the option that says Change Advanced Sharing Center and then Make sure that all the settings are, I mean, as you can see on this particular screen, that is turn on network discovery and also you need to turn on automatic setup of network connected devices. And this will allow the app to automatically detect your PC on the network. Now, apart from that, uh, you have to turn on the file and printer sharing and also allow Windows to manage home group connections. That is a recommended set settings. Now, under all networks, just to make things secure, you need to use the 128-bit encryption and also turn on the password protected sharing. Now, the one question that I have been getting with most of the Windows 10 and Windows 8 users who are using an online uh, Microsoft account that the username is in fact an email address and what is like a Windows username that they can use while connecting to the network. So to do that, you have to open up the run command box and then just open up the command prompt, type in cmd and then open it up. Now, after user, the letters that you see is in fact your username. So as my email is m.ashish, so my username is m-a-s-h-i. Now, having done that, you need to create a folder on your particular, uh, any of the drives that you have on your computer and then enable file sharing on that particular folder. Now I already have a folder created on my G drive and, and I have named it sync folder. Now I'll right click on that particular folder and then select the option properties. Now under here I'll navigate to the tab that says sharing and then share this particular folder on the network. Now here I can just type this as Ashish and uh, here I'll write everyone and then select add and then give the option to read and write now this will make sure that the app can not only save i mean not only sync files from the computer but also write the files onto this computer now once that is done you can close this particular window and uh, close everything on your computer and now we'll move on to the app that we'll download to enable the syncing so friends on your android device you'll have to install an application that that is called Sync Me Wireless and it's a free app that can be downloaded from the Play Store. Now once it's installed, you just need to open it up and this is the screen that you'll see. In here, you'll get the option that says Add Computer at the bottom and once you tap on it, these are the options that you'll get. Now the very first thing is you'll need to tap on Computer Name and then let the app scan for your computer. Now if you remember, we are we enable the option of network discovery on Windows 10 and that's the reason I'm getting my computer on this particular list however if you're not if you're not getting that particular option you can tap on this three dots and then add computer using an IP address now I'll just tap here and it's done now second thing is you will need to put in your username and password and as we are not as we have not enabled the guest uh, login for security reason you need to type in the username and as i mentioned it's for as we can as we saw on the command prompt and uh, just let me quickly type in my password now i have my username my password my domain and my computer name and once all this is set you just need to tap on ok and it will validate the settings and then you need to tap on add sync folder now once you do that 
you'll get the option that says computer uh, device folder and computer folder so the device folder is the one folder that you want to sync from your android phone and let's just say i want to sync all the photographs that i shoot from my camera so i'll just select tcim and then select the particular folder now once you have the device folder uh, set you just need to uh, tap on computer folder and the folder that you have uh, enabled the syncing from windows 10 it will appear over here and you can just tap on sync folder and select it so uh, in the schedule you can set uh, when do you want the sync to run and uh, run at and run every if you want to say at one hour or every, uh, whatever and depending upon it it will uh, give you battery usage so i'll just set it uh, run every let's say 15 minutes and uh, i mean to save battery and if you want to just sync for uh, like once in a day you can just tap when uh, when charging and if not connected to us it is totally depend upon you and once that is done tap on okay now there are uh, some additional settings that uh, you can give like group pictures by uh, month day or year and also if you want to write the same file and uh, track deletion is yes or no so these are all the settings that are available and once you do that you just need to tap on ok now as soon as you do that the very first thing that it will do is it will start syncing and as you can see all the files that are there on this particular DCIM is being copied to my computer and any folder any files that I ha will have on my computer will be automatically synced to my device so here also uh, once it's done you can add like one or more computers to this and uh, if you want you can also add second sync folder uh, if you want to like sync a document apart from this as well now under here you have an option of settings and it will uh, it has an option like show all device folders error notification and vibrate at sync finish now it can only uh, occur on the wi-fi and it's, it's the best option to go for and you have option like network timer and also backup your files to google account so if you want to backup your files not only to a computer but also to your google uh, drive that option is there and uh, if you have deleted some files from your computer and if you don't want it to be synced again this is the option that you want to check so over and all this is a very amazing app to sync files from your android device to computer windows 10 computer for free without any limitations so friends that was how you can use the sync me wireless app on your android to automatically sync files from your android device to your windows and computer if you have any doubts please do ask me in the comment section if there is any particular how do you like me to cover and upcoming videos please do mention that as well in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do press the subscribe button that you see and be a part of our community this was ashish from guiding tech and i hope to see you in my next video till then take care and have a wonderful day